What's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Officer Stuche, and I am finally live. A little, uh, little out of sorts. I'll explain here why in just a minute. Jeez. Oh, no. Waiting to see if uh, there he is. Yeah. What's up, Money? What's up, boss? How you doing? Oh, doing pretty good. So they tried to steal your wife's catalytic converter. Yeah. While in the snow. <laughs> yeah, while it was in the snow. Wow! 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 Damn it. All right, let's see. We got four live Jose. How you doing, guys? Jacob, how you been? How's the weather out there treating you all besides that? Uh well it got up to about 40, 47. Oh wow. Yeah, so it, it warmed up pretty good today. Y'all y'all gonna have y'all are y'all in the area? Uh, prone to like mudslides and stuff like that because of the melting ice. No, no, we're too. It's it's like we're in, we're in we're in hills and everything, but they're not so they're not real steep and they're not around. I mean, they're not nothing really. Just rolling hills, is what it is. All right, I'm gonna get this dog outside so he can quit barking. <laughs> he didn't want to be on camera. He's all I'm out. <laughs> What's up, John? How you doing, guys? All right. Oh. Well, guys, um, the reason why I've been really been going live is I had a pretty crazy, crazy schedule this week. On Monday, I had a uh, small mass removed from my back right shoulder blade area between the vertebrae, and... Uh, Good thing, the, well, the doctor feels very confident that it was just fat. It wasn't really a mass to worry about, but he still sent it in to get it checked out. And uh, just to see if it's not malignant. Yeah, yeah. He said that one of the biggest signs of it that it wasn't was that kind of like um, fat on the back of a rib or, uh, you know, on, on the fajita, how you, you, you move it away, it's like you have to tear it away kind of deal. Yeah. When it's a mass, it's actually all stuck together. Like it, it pulls away, I guess, a lot easier or whatever. And so, yeah. uh, and because they had to scrape or do whatever they did, man, it just feels like I've got this aching cramp in the in that area that they cut into. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I don't know the actual length of the, the deal, but there's four stitches in it and got a pretty good picture of it uh, <laughs> somewhere. But uh, no, I was dealing with that and it just, it uh, really has me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I was eating one of those. We got our, our little cakes in that we ordered, and I know we had a couple here, but I'm going to have to order them more because uh, it took us too long to get them shipped out, and I don't want to send out a uh, uh, bakery item like that, and, you know, those guys get the bad bad deal of it, thinking that, you know, they got a hard a hard cake, and it was, you know, like that. No, <laughs> these guys really do put out a great product. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm just waiting for him to come back. I know he's been real busy going out to where'd he go? San Antonio, Rockport, where else? Port Aransas and stuff like that. Yeah. Huh? The the cake guy. When did he come? No, no, no. That they've been <laughs> sending him out to the. Oh. San Antonio, Portland, Port Aransas, Dude, I ain't yawned all afternoon. All of a sudden, it just hit me, like, right when I decided to go live. What's up, Dak? How you doing? Uh, we got four live. Who else? Hi, man. Hey, how you doing, boss? I'm glad to see that you're moving finally. That was a pretty pretty hairy situation you were in the other day, being snowed in by that uh, 
on the highway and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, um, let's see. All right. Um, heard this other deal today. Uh, actually, Jeff was the one who was telling me about it. I had heard something of it a while back, but I didn't really catch what was going on. Um, but they're trying to push through the house here in Texas to make it legal for them to close down. Like if they own a section of uh, beach front property, that or the hotels, they're trying to get it shut down again in those areas. And it's over there by Port Aransas. So these guys that are really trying every which way to get our beaches shut down are going not just in one direction. They were really putting it all over the place on on doing that kind of deal instead of uh, allowing the Open Beaches Act that we currently have to keep our beaches open so that way everybody can enjoy them. So, yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Frank with Wind and Wave. He's the one who's mainly been heading that up with the Surf Riders Association. Uh, they're the ones battling that. Um, they're saying they have a really good feeling that it won't even pass the house, but, uh, you know, we still need to be attentive to it. And it is the, uh, give me a second. Do, do. I've had it written down somewhere and I've been uh, moving all over the place over here. The SB, the bill SB 434. So y'all be sure to keep an eye out for that one, guys. That's the one that they're using, like I said, to for the guys that own condos and stuff like that and or, or the hotels. That's the one they're trying to use to shut down those those beach access areas uh, to motorists and stuff like that. So, yeah. That almost sounds like to me they're trying to get a back door into it to where if they can get this closed through that way, it'll make it a whole lot easier for them to close the beach for the turtles. Yeah. Uh, then sending no. Over... Yeah, that that was part of it. For life nailed it that they ain't sending no funding to our beaches until they can get that they shut down our beaches to driving. So which is a bunch of BS because we receive a ton of funding from, you know, a lot of the uh, uh, tourists that come in, you know, and, and they're spending here and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, and that land right there is public land by the water. Uh, it's, not, it's not private. Yeah, they don't own the beach when they buy the house. Yeah. <clears throat> think their area doesn't start to the dunes. Uh, no. Yep. The sand dune, you know. Uh, Friday. But, um, what was I going to say, man? I was, I was thinking of something else, and I totally, I said, guys, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I have it, I have it here. Hold on just a second. Uh-oh. Doing the math real quick because so I can have the exact number. All right, guys. So y'all know that we oh shoot, hold on. All right, guys. So we raised five hundred dollars for the uh, beach cleanup uh, gas fundraiser. Sorry, guys. It, it, that every time I lean back into the scene or I yawn or pick up my arm a certain way, it just aggravates the hell out of that wound. Um, so we raised five hundred dollars. Obviously, we didn't go all the way down beach that we thought we were going to end up having to do. We were thinking we, everything was going to start at the forties. And what they did was the first people that arrived at the beach cleanup, they sent them the furthest. So 
the, the first people that got there, they got from the jetties to like the first mile thereafter. And then they started working their way back down. By the time we showed up, we were at, they put me in, in charge of the crew from the 20 to the 19. And then Zach took over the rest of Team Hard Life and the other guys that were in line of that one. And they, uh, they went from the 19 to the 18 and then 17 to 16. And, and they were basically working all the way back up that way. Uh, from what I understand, 2,500 people showed up to do the beach cleanup. They have not gotten an exact amount of weight from the trailers that they got all the trash in. Because um, as you saw at the end of the video, on the second video, we were driving to that area where they were having a collection point for all the trash that was being pulled off the beach for that day. Um, so they have, they still, they, uh, and actually, let me, that, that was as of yesterday. Let me go and check today if maybe they got a post up today. Um, let's see. Come on. They, they cleaned up 32 miles of beach. Built seven dumpster full dumpsters full of trash. Those big old uh, trash oh, yeah. containers that are filmed on there. They filled up seven of them, and um, that's all they've gotten so far. They have not said what what kind of weight they had or anything like that. But um, what I went ahead and did was on their Facebook post. I shared both video links to our YouTube channel to show the different uh, areas that were cleaned up, but also to show the amount of traffic and the amount of support that was coming from further down beach past us of all the guys that were cleaning up there in those big old groups. All right. The reason why I'm talking about this is because we raised $500. And since we didn't go all the way down, we didn't use the whole amount. So at that point, you know, I, I, I told Zach, I was all right, well, we raised $500 to help you out for gas. We're only using, like, we were still at the gas pumps. Um, I filled up several gas tanks before I met up with them. And then when I met up with them, the Jeeps were already full, so we waited till we got off the beach, and then we went again to the gas, the gas station, filled up all the Jeeps. And then we, we transferred gas and stuff like that, but we got all the Jeeps filled back up. And then he goes, well, whatever's left over, use it as a donation to whatever you need to do with your shop. And I was like, are you sure? Because we raised it to help you out. He goes, dude. By, by putting gas back into the thing, he saw that was part of our donation. So, with that in mind, we spent $175 on gas, filling up the Jeeps and the extra gas and stuff like that. So, that leaves us a balance of $325, which I'm going to go ahead and start or roll into our fire drawing. So, that way, it goes back into the shop and back to y'all. So... Uh, I figured it was a great way to um, say thank you to all of those that I know are in our fire drawings and everything else to really give it a kick start. So our next fire drawing, when we do one, starts out at $325 right off the bat. So Sweet. I, think that, I think that's a win-win for everybody. I mean, what, what, what do y'all think? <laughs> I'm for it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. So, uh, yeah, da uh, Daniel, I just saw your comment right there. That would give them the precedence. Yes, if they if they can get that little bit, I mean, if they take an inch, they're they're already trying to take a mile. You can already see that, and you know they were doing it in you know multiple steps all at the same time, and basically they're bombarding all of our beaches all at the same time from Padre Island all the way down to SPI because. You know, that beachfront, Padre Island National Seashore, is the only barrier island here on the Texas coast that has saved us from multiple, multiple hurricanes. And then you want to start developing on it? No, that's just going to help disintegrate it even more. No, not not cool. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it was, it was huge, guys. So, I, li I like that idea. Uh, and actually, I think you had talked about it the other day that we we're going to throw in Overland Americas. Uh, and I think we should give them three of them 
for the for that because him, his wife, and his worker, uh, uh, I forgot his name. I'm I'm really bad with names, guys. Y'all know this. I'm really bad with names, but I will find out. <laughs> I, I want to say it was Tyler or something like that. Or the his worker. Yeah, do you remember what it was? Something with something like that. I'm going to double check, but yeah, I think that would be a great, you know, little thank you to them because I know that would really help them out too if they did win to um, buy fishing tackle from us so they could start renting out rotten reels to their their customers. So that would be a great, great little deal for them as well. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, that would be really cool. Um, Colton, yes. There you go. Thank you. For life, remember that. Uh, Drew, what's up, bro? How you doing? Drew's uh, in here? Uh, yep, yeah, Drew's in here. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> what, what are you working on, anyways? <laughs> oh. Or can you not show right now? Oh no! It's just uh, making uh, like uh, corner bookmarks for a customer. Corner bookmarks? Yeah, it'll be uh, be like two of them, like sewn together on the edges right here, and they can uh -huh. put the book pages in between. I'm lost. How's that? <laughs> I know a bookmark. You put it in between the, the pages of the book. Close the book. It, it'll slide over like it, like it, like you get a stack of pages. Are you just stack it in like this this way? Yeah, and it'll go over them. And you close the book on top still. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where'd you get that idea from? I've never seen something like that. From the customer. <laughs> From the what? From the customer. Oh, okay. That's cool. I, oh, yeah. I had to take a double look at it, the, the picture that she showed me. I'm sitting there looking at it like, what the hell is that? Uh oh. Let's see. Ah. Ah. Let's see. I like Roger's idea. I'm going to check something real quick. Hey, look at the screen. Uh, uh, six. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's up, Daniel? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Joking on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You gonna go take a nap? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, give me just a second, guys. Hello. Uh, live on my channel. What's up, boss? Yes, because I get all my mail here at the shop since I'm here six days a week. Yeah, I do. I am live on the channel, boss. <laughs> I'm on YouTube right now. So I'm live on my YouTube channel. Well, well, yeah, they can't hear you. <laughs> All 
Okay. All right, later. Okay. All right, so working a few different things right now, guys. Let me get this out there. Uh, but I do like Roger's um, deal on that one, too. And what I'm doing is I'm counting out how many people donated to the gas fund. And if I can give everybody at least one ticket, then, yes, I'm, I'm shooting for that. Give me just a second. I got to reply to this real quick. Okay. Oh. oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I got everybody's name in, in there at least one time. I want you to put on mine, Albert. I want you to put Overland on it. Well, I, I okay. So I give him two because I, I was. I'm going to give one to Zach, his wife, and Colton for the three. So give him okay. Well, let me. Toby. John Darnell. All right, so, yeah, okay. With everybody's name that, that pitched in on there, I know a few of you guys pitched in more than other, you know, more times than others and stuff like that. However, uh, what I'm doing is giving everybody at least one ticket, and what that, that does, it gives me the ability to put in 13 tickets for that. Uh, but it's still... Uh, um, yeah, the only way to be fair with that is because, like I said, mo several guys of y'all, Roger, uh, Toby, uh, Jacob, uh, who else? Yeah, y'all pretty much, uh, Jaime Sanchez was another one. Y'all put in there multiple times, and if I, if I give everybody each one for each time you went in, then some of them wouldn't get to get it within that appear or the amount that's donated in there. So, uh, being fair as I can, I've got the three. Let's see. Here's, so I've got some other notes there. That... All right. So, we did the three people with Overland America that donated their time on there and stuff like that to help give give back to them some. And I've got Roger, Jaime, Edgar, um, Jack the Leatherworks, Cameron, Toby, John Darnell, Carl Moon, Robert for Life, and Angel Lopez. All right, so Jacob wants to donate his back to Overland. So we'll just put it as Overland right there. And can we make it? Well, um, if we do that, that's 13. That'll leave four tickets available that uh, would fall under that 325. So it would only be the first four would, would uh, get a free ticket in that sense right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I said, "What's up, Daniel?" He like, "Whoa!" 
<laughs> so I'm drink, he was taken back a little bit. That was pretty cool. <laughs> so. so the next the next deal is if we do it that way, did y'all want to do the drawing today, or would you like to kick this <laughs> one off on Friday and just do one this week? I'd say just wait, leave it for, for Friday. Me personally. That's one for Friday. Yeah. So we'll go off the amount of people that are watching right now, and we're up to how many people are on the channel right now, guys? Uh, I see 19. Mine says one. <laughs> mine says one person watching. Refresh mine real quick. So. Yeah, it says 19 are watching. So, yeah. Mm. No, he's, ha he's had the, the hook and that other pin on it. Or do you have one on the other side, Jacob? Hmm? Oh, my pin? That pin? Okay, well, I've, the hook one I've had on there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. What is that? I can't mm. see it. Dang commercial over here. All right, is that focused in? Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that is sweet. Nice. I got 10 thumbs up on my end, but yeah, we're way short of our thumbs up, guys. Um, I did find out on our videos, too, for the YouTube channel, when y'all go through... And y'all thumbs up, it, it's what helps our videos really get posted up and shared a lot more, guys. So if y'all haven't gone through and gave our videos a thumbs up, that would really help our videos get yeah. a lot more traction and get seen by a lot more people. So, yes, a thumbs up is very important, guys. It really does help us continue our growth within the YouTube community and stuff like that. So especially when people are finding us, you know, three years later and saying they'd never seen seen us before, but have now just started binge watching all of our videos because the amount of videos we do have out there, which is awesome. So, well, it looks like we'll do it for Friday, but yeah, it's already going to start out at $325. Um, and we'll set it up to where those 13 people will automatically have a ticket in there. And then the first four people that get in, We'll get a bonus ticket. So, I wonder why I want to let you do a thumbs up there, Drew. That that's a first. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> also, too, um, I did get a heads up that um, uh, Beach Bomber is coming back to Corpus to come do some fishing. Um, I'm waiting on a deal for that to come through when uh, he'll be selecting the dates on that. Um, I've got another one coming through that the uh, drummer that used to be with the rock group, Saving Able, him and uh, some others, he's going give, to give me a heads up of who's all coming in or whatever, but they're on tour and they are coming through and he's going to come down to Corpus to come fish with us. So that's going to be pretty sweet too. So. Nice. Yep, yep. And he's down for whatever fishing, because right now, depending on the weather, like I know the pumps are in and stuff like that. It's just right now it's rocking 30, 40 mile per hour winds out there. So there's probably hardly any beach in a bunch of areas. So that's going to be kind of out of it. Yeah. And to be out there in that kind of wind is really annoying. So we may have to find other areas to fish where we can be kind of out of the wind so we can still get some good fishing in. Uh, and it's not just the fishing, it's the camera footage, because, I mean, definitely want you all to hear what's going on, but, I mean, if it's all gusting, you know, like crazy, then it really won't be any fun for any of y'all other than uh, 
a lot of commentary or music and stuff like that. So, yes, sir. Yep. Def definitely, you know, show the support on his channel as well uh, about him doing the collab collaboration videos with me. Also, heads up, guys, here really quick, I have done the do. And the best way to show y'all is this. Let me see. I have gotten my license to now be a fishing guide. Sure, hey. shore fishing. <laughs> yep, so now y'all can start booking trips with us. And we will probably start taking those next week. Um, all right. I think that's pretty much everything I could show you all. So right there, y'all can see. There's my name on there, my address and stuff right there. And then you've got the for all, all fishing right there. All water fishing game. All water fishing and authorized shore fishing right there. Cool. So <clears throat> we are going to start be booking our trips. So. Don't know how quickly or whatever is going to happen, but I'm definitely getting be gearing up for land-based fishing. Either it be jetty, pier, bay, uh, even big drum fishing, because that's something that we can definitely do mm -hmm. year-round. And and uh, looks like Roger's getting a start on the fire drum. <laughs> So I ain't letting that extra ticket go right now. So, all right. So we got Roger one. Got three more. If y'all buy, if y'all buy tickets between now, and first four of the two get their tickets. Well, three now. We'll get an extra ticket on there. Uh, oh, check Cash App. I think. Uh, let's check Cash App real quick. Two. Yeah, you're looking at. You're looking around thirty. I think it's thirty five cents What's up, baby? The potatoes are no good. Oh, really? Damn it. Yeah. What do you want with that yeah. chicken? Daniel? Yeah, that and the uh, chicken. And Jaime. So there's one more ticket available, guys. Yeah. You can do that. Uh, just give us a couple of days. Yeah. I'm going to bake it. Okay. okay. And real living, number four. <laughs> yeah, you're looking All right, so the bonus four tickets are for those, uh, those four people, like Roger, you know, Daniel, Hyman, and, and Real Living. Uh, uh, okay, the, then we have to, then we'll not put as much, we'll leave a gap. Because we have a lot of people that are, if they're used to it, right. we actually fill it to where it's even, then we put that break in building. Used to traffic, so there you go. But if you're not used to that, then we'll leave like a... Called LMB. Can I send a payment in for the rod? Real living, you, you sure can. Um, payments will be going through Jeff because I'm sitting okay, down uh, over here and uh, where you, where he's on the phone right now, so might yeah. wait a little bit. So. I am sitting here putting on swivels to kind of give you a little idea of what I'm feeling. Uh, you don't 135-pound coat of cable with 250-pound swivels well, right there. Florida. And you can see the double link, double mini sleeves right there. So, yep. That's what I yeah, got sure. going right there. And it, it, it's the old-school way of thinking because a lot of them had the mono and stuff like that. And your leader is made of mono. Yeah, so they're talking about that stretch. You're not going to get the major stretch, but you have stretch in the leader because of it. Uh, let's see. Well, that looks like our drawing now is going to start off at, give me a second, $425. Wow. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> yeah. No, uh, sorry, sorry. 
four hundred and five dollars because there was four people that bought in, so that's eighty dollars. Uh, uh, for some reason, I was thinking twenty twenty five dollars or something like that. So. Yeah. So it's gonna be one of one of the weirdest ones because it has does have that five dollars extra. So. That one looks okay. That's actually good stuff. You know, we wouldn't be using them ourselves if we didn't if we didn't recommend. Oh man, let's see. Thank you. Yes, I do. You mean okay for this year or last year? On that, Brandon, because right now, oh, the twenty-two Christmas one. Yes, I got the paperwork right here, guys. Give me a second. Did he also, two kind of a hey Jacob? Have you started working on that leather case for the glasses for the one worker that you said you were going to donate? Oh shit! I was sitting there. I got two of them cut out, and I'm sitting there trying to figure out who the hell I cut the second one out for. <laughs> well, well, hold on to the second one because. Um, after the death of her sister, she disappeared. We haven't heard or seen from her since. She went out to supposed to go with her sister, and that's the last word we heard from her. We haven't heard from her since then, and it's been months of no call, no show, no nothing. And so, uh, oh wow, I'd hate to have you invest the time, and we can't even reach her to get it to her or anything. So just stand by or get it to somebody else who can use it right now and if it comes up later then cool if not uh, i wouldn't even worry about it right now okay um, that was one that was also one of the families that we were looking at helping out but like i said you know she never returned and so we're just, like i said we're just gonna roll the funds over uh go. give me a second well hopefully she's all right As far as I know, everything was going great. She she went with her sister after, or one of her other sisters, after she passed. And hmm. Okay, Brandon. I swear, honey, I am really bad about cameras. I totally forgot what, to take what the picture. Now? I to I totally forgot to take pictures of Carol's eyeglass case. <laughs> Sorry, did you already mail it? Yeah, I already mailed it. <laughs> Well, don't 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 worry. They'll, they'll hear this and they'll they'll send you some pictures back. That's for sure. <laughs> Aaron Craig are real good about that. That's pretty awesome. All right, yeah. so I'm figuring up the. Thanks for the warning. All right, so we have we currently have a balance of twenty three twenty nine remaining in the Christmas fund from last year. Um, we spent a total of twenty one hundred dollars between getting her glasses, her prescription, and stuff like that for one. The other one was the combo right there as well, and then the um, the presents that we got from one of the other girls that we got out to her, but we're still not done with her because it was, like I said, we got a few items for because her birthday was coming up, but it wasn't stuff that we knew we were aiming for, for, you know, a helping hand up. So we knew they, yeah. they were real hard on getting present for the, for her daughter and stuff like that during that time period, because also it was in that window that we also didn't have workers here at the shop. So we know she didn't have an income coming in. And after talking to her mom, she was like, yeah, we didn't even know 
uh, they were able to get the daughter Annie gifts. So we were able to help out with that. Uh, we did also have some donations for that little girl as well so that um, those toys came in and went. We're just still working on that. But, yeah, we're sitting at a balance of $2,329 left in the Christmas fund from last year. This year, we're sitting at... Where's that paperwork? <laughs> Ugh. What did I do with it? What's up, Dulé? What was that? I was saying hi to John. Oh, okay. No, Chris, drawing is, uh, we're going to do it Friday. Yes, yeah, we're, we're doing that on Friday, but if you want to get your, your tickets in now, we're not saying no because a few other guys have already purchased some tickets. Um, yeah. The pot currently is at $405. Yes. Nice. What's up, Henry? Uh, oh, excuse me. That sounded nice. It felt good, too. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened there? I missed that. <laughs> oh my daughter. <laughs> Kayla, she goes, Yeah, he's releasing the demon. <laughs> yeah. You seen them two girls in the, they're sitting in the car and they're drinking that seven up or sprite or whatever it is. <laughs> Like no, I don't know what it was, but they're sitting there just down in this bottle. You know, each of them sitting there down in a bottle of Sprite or Mountain Dew or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> and the girl in the passenger seat just all of a sudden just lets out a belt set would make any man proud. <laughs> <laughs> the caption of that video was. <laughs> That woman, that woman had her soul leave. <laughs> you know, it's funny because when my wife burps like that or whatever, I, 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 I yell out a rating for it. And she just looks like, you're so stupid. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm a guy. I find it amusing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can take pride in other people's work. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Right, so right now for this year, we're sitting at eight hundred and seventeen dollars for this year's drawing. So that is like I said, still in work. Yep, not bad, not bad. Cool. All right. Let me, we be let me get organized over here. Y'all are moving quick with this fire drawing, and I want to get it all in one place. <laughs> that was, that was, I don't like half note pages. <laughs> uh -huh. I was, I was, Doing a lot of them, but let's see. What's up, Chris? Hey, Brandon, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and make it for you. Um, and if she comes back and, you know, she comes back or we get a hold of her or whatever, I'll just cut out another one. So just uh, shoot me a message on what you want on it or something. There you go. Yeah. Making my I'm making my handwriting a little more legible for Friday. <laughs> I got you. You got the handwriting of a doctor. I'm telling you, man, I would I'd fit right in with them. <laughs> I tell you what, if you like bourbon with your coffee, mm. 
This stuff right what here that? said, if you like bourbon with your coffee. Okay, you're coming in real uh, pixelated or whatever, but did you say I, I do bourbon with my coffee? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> well, if you want That's your, what I heard, I guess. If, if, you like your, if you like the bourbon with the coffee, but don't want the bourbon, the alcohol, that stuff right there. I ain't tried it. I'll tell you this. Don't get, if you get pulled over and you have that in your cup. Yeah. He's going to be like, probably trying to give you a DUI. It smells that much of bourbon. Oh, wow. So it's just, it's, it's uh, infused with the, the roast or whatever. You know, what they do is they actually soak the beans in bourbon for like almost two weeks and then roast it. Damn it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I wish they can do some cigars like that, you know? Have them where they're soaked in a little bit of, you know, some kind of alcohol, you know what I mean? There is a cigar company that does. Uh, when I, well, I'll look them up later on and I'll send you the message of what brand they are. Okay. Okay. What's up, Joseph? How you doing? Oh, oh, oh. So any word on the guy that caught that big old shark or got pulled in by that shark? Have they updated anything on that or are they under the rug? Hey, they want you to show it again. <laughs> yep. We're a, sounds like we're a drinking team with the fishing problem. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I do have another one that is unopened. There you go. Okay. I bet. Yeah. Well. We're still going to do it. So on Friday, our drawing number starts out at $405 for Friday's drawing. She did? Did you check see how much? What are you? Uh, of the roast? A little bit more than our normal. But what? The fans, I've seen it some of the other time. Oh, okay. So she improved? So it's what he's saying. It's coffee time. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I might have to nuke it for like 30 seconds. Oh, it's, that, that's fine. That is fine. Hey, Caitlin, that other one's not open, right? That other one, what? Not that coffee open. thing? No, okay. I only opened one. Okay. I have one extra that, of, of this coffee. If somebody wants it, just put it up here and just pay for the shipping and I'll send it to you. Oh, yeah, Joseph. I love cigars with cognac. Yeah, that is. Mm hmm. Yeah. Say it better when they're infused. And the leaf. Yeah, Jeff. They use a lot of uh, a lot of them use cognac when they for the cigars. They uh, basically, it's most of the time it's just a wrapper. It's not actually the tobacco leaves on the inside. Hmm. 
What's up, well, Chubby? I, I like to dip my tail into my my cigar and when I'm when I'm smoking it. Cognac. Uh, yeah. I've done Crown Royal. I've done uh, what's that other one that uh, uh rum? I thought it was rum. I haven't yeah. tried it with rum. I have a place in San Antonio called Latin and Gold, mm -hmm. and you can buy them infused already, like yeah. vanilla, cherry, rum, cognac, and Grand Gran, Gran Marnier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've dipped it in that one. That, that one's Grand, Grand Marnier, something like that? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Henry, you want that TV? Do what? What? <laughs> I don't know. You came in broken. No. What's up, Chubby? How you doing? Chubby's barbecue man. Yeah. I wanted to do a brisket so bad on Sunday, but uh, I was thinking about it on on Saturday. I was like, I'll, I'll do it for then. And then my wife calls me. Oh, we're going to sister's house. They're doing barbecue. I was like, damn it. <laughs> I'm okay with eating barbecue two or three days in a row. I really am. Yeah. Well, the kids, they're like, oh, we just had barbecue yesterday. Oh. Yeah, they, don't, they don't understand this. So? <laughs> yeah, I could eat barbecue yeah. seven days a week. I wouldn't care. Yeah. I'm a... Yeah. 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 Oh, man. So, I'm hearing two things on the barbecue deal. I'm hearing that if you used charcoal to do your barbecue, that's the one that really poisons your body and works against you. But if you use regular wood, you know, to do your barbecue, that you don't have that same kind of uh, poisons into your body, or toxins or carbon, whatever is going on, and... Can anybody else elaborate on that for me? Because. Or everybody uses a favorite nasty word of propane. Yep. It just, it leaves a taste. It does. It does, yeah. Nasty. Try to use wood. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Well, I, I don't know if you're coming in broken up or what, boss, but, like, I'm hearing every other syllable of what you're saying. And and it's not all the time. It's, it's sometimes it's going, and then it, it, it syllables up. So I don't know. Is, is, yeah, like, right now, your, your screen is froze. I, I was thinking there for a second that you were just staring at me crazy, but no, your screen is froze. <laughs> <laughs> oh man look i'm telling you guys like my camera there he goes now now it's finally catching up if you not but that's it so yep there you go that's weird <clears throat> now the, the question that I got uh, that I have to ask, and it's because I'm, I'm okay at science, but not crazy at science, but what is the difference? Because at the end of the day, you have wood that uh, burns down and becomes charcoal, pretty much. What's the difference on that? I think what the difference is, is if you don't have Actually, that. I'm pretty smoke. good at grilling. You said, but I must be coming broken up. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'm, I, I don't know if he's saying something or not. Oh, he's not. <laughs> so that's why they they always say with charcoal it's always got to be gray before you start putting the meat on. So that's why they always say with charcoal. 
I don't know. Oh, man. My back is really, really annoying me. Okay, so am I coming in clear right now? Yes, sir. That's weird because on my on my screen over here, you were the one that was freezing up. <laughs> What's up, Craig? Craig in the house. Depending on the charcoal, Ooh. if it is a natural charcoal, it's not made with a binder and it's not harmful. As long as you see the thin blue smoke or no smoke at all, you are good when you have heavy white. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. See, see, we are a learning. We are a learning. Definitely. <laughs> I definitely don't like using uh, too much charcoal starter. I'll, I'll, I'll use enough of it to get the first burn. You know how normally you have to hit it a few times? By that time, it gets a little bit of the portion um, hot enough to where I pour some oil on it and cooking oil, and that's how I keep the fire lit, and it, it it burns off, and then I can start cooking once that everything is going good. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it, it I definitely use a lot less charcoal starter when I do any kind of wood project like that of starting to pit and stuff like that, so. Hey, for time, the good old vegetable oil. Yep. Yep. Well, that's enough. Using a paper towel soaked in vegetable oil. That's, that's a good one. It's like a slow wick. True that. Yeah. Uh, everybody means that the charcoal wood is not fully combusted. Yeah, thick wick. Okay. Ah, okay. There you go. Chubby sharing the knowledge right there. The Hi, Anita. White smoke, man. Huh? Oh, Anita. Yep. Yeah. What's up? Uh, the heavy white smoke means that the charcoal or wood is not fully combusted. When you yeah. have that thick white smoke, it will create create a creosote build on your build up on your meat and on the grill. That makes a cool deal. Damn the place on the island. No. There we go. Very nice. So oh man. I'm telling you guys, this 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 cut is like just below my shoulder blade or equal to my shoulder blade, right between that and my vertebrae. And it is just annoying, annoying. It feels like there's a muscle cramped up there and it's not. So it's just bruised or whatever. Uh Cotton balls with rubbing alcohol. Wow. Ain't tried that one. Hmm. I've done paper towels uh, inside of a, a roll of uh, toilet paper once it, you know, it's just a roll by itself. Done that. That worked out all right. But uh doesn't last very long, so you better have some good. You can't go straight to big wood. You got to go to your uh, smaller pieces and stuff like that and go from there. So, uh, older brother, let's see what he wants. Hello? Oh, Jeebus. Live on the channel? That is correct. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, all right, later, brother. All right, let's see. Oh, man, a couple of cotton balls. Yep. Um, what's I going to say? 
No. Oh. It's got the itch to make me want to barbecue today. <laughs> but I definitely, I mean, I don't mind turning on the pit, you know, once I get out of work kind of deal, but just not feeling it right now. I'm not in the mood to be moving that, that muscle. And for the pit, I'm up and down and doing all around kind of deal. And normally, if I start the pit, I like a, a long day of burning, not a quick, short, you know, a few hours. Unless I'm doing steaks, then that's real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fire going, and then once it's going, all the sites are ready. Then, then I'll throw the, the the steaks on the grill and go from there. You know? Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll try Ken, I don't know who are you asking. Are you asking us if we tried Dana's place on the island? Because I've never heard of them. Uh, Brandon, it doesn't your order has your order has shipped. It went out yes yesterday, right? The the uh, priority boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the priority went out yesterday. Uh, no. Was it yesterday or the day before? I remember you called me yesterday about the fishing rod one going out. It, it'll have been yesterday or the day before. Yeah, they went out. Um, we got one more rod that is going out. We'll probably end up going out tomorrow. So, okay. Uh, I did not injure my shoulder, guys. I had a mass. Uh, that they found during one of my uh, physicals, and it was between the shoulder blade and my vertebrae. It was right up in there, and you know it was probably three centimeters across. Uh, but when they opened it up and pulled it out, they were saying that it was just a weird lump of uh, fat that had accumulated in that one spot. And I was like, well, shoot, better better to get it out than leave it in there to keep accumulating or whatever. But um, the doctor feels extremely confident that it was nothing, but he went ahead and shipped, sent it in to make sure that, you know, everything yeah. is on the up and up. Get mad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why we got into the subject of barbecue, because that just, you know, that instigates the, the stomach to like, hey, get up, go cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See. Yeah, no, Ken, I have not tried that place. So, how, what what kind of food do they have, and do you recommend? I mean, obviously, I think you you are recommending it because you're bringing, you're asking if we've eaten there yet. Right, we'll do, Daniel. Mm -hmm. um, that's also the reason why I haven't gone fishing um, other than last week because like I said I was kind of gearing up for that thing you know or that minor surgery and they was going to annoy me like it, it's, an, it, it's not painful it's annoying and I think that's what makes it more <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you working on oh how are they looking now i know you've been at it for about an hour since we we came on the the show are you cutting the edge I'm rounding them, rounding the edges off. Okay. Yeah, it looked it looked a bit straighter, like a straight, like you had just done the straight straight cut on them or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, just getting attention it all nice. Detail, and... it's attention to detail. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. You want me to put them? Muchas gracias. Uh, 
Yep, no, man. Gah. So, Ken, give us the update on that restaurant. I mean, you're, you're bringing it up, man. Come on, we're already talking food. We're already, we're already digging this hole deep. We're all going to be hungry soon, so might as well <laughs> put it out there. <laughs> I don't know if it's fat boy problems or what, but I'm looking at the the, the page eagerly waiting for his reply on, on what that restaurant has to offer. <laughs> mm-hmm. I keep going back to my phone to the computer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go on, go on. You can't keep us in the dark like that, man. That's, you know. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, wow. do, do you know at least what kind of food they're supposed to be serving or anything like that? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, they're thinking it's going to be that place. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, so it's another barbecue place. We're going to definitely have to check it out. Yeah. Where's that at? Going towards Fort A on the, on the left. Oh, they're talking about the one behind uh, the Fire Island Burger? Is it behind the uh, Padre Island Burger, Ken? Since like Texas Mesquite Barbecue. Uh, oh, excuse me. That was weak. I know it was weak. <laughs> you want me to go get Daniel so he can school you? You know that? Okay, 21 people watching, 17 thumbs up. Okay, I missed that. What was that? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I heard something, but... Uh, I'm going to call as soon as I'm done with dinner. Cool deal. Uh, <laughs> I said there's 20 people in here and we only got 18 thumbs up. 19 now. Think they think they heard you were about to say something about it. <laughs> oh, I did, but uh, I said it broken up <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. All right, Ken. Well, we'll see you then. Um, and Ken, he was asking if it's the one that's right behind the Padre Island Burger right there on 361. Uh, you're talking right there by the strikes, right? At yeah, the behind the strikes. It's a, yes. I, okay, I've seen that place, but I, I didn't I didn't catch the name on it. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to make it. But it's actually pretty good. I'm not too bad. Is there anything you want me to help you with? Just make sure you're squared away in the back. Did see? Okay. Got a customer that. And saying they got some uh, 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 
he's saying he bought some tight line braid and that it's real hard to get the needle in. So uh, that's a first. <laughs> the only time I have, tr have trouble trying yeah. it in is when it's a solid braid. Unless he's got, you know, the smaller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I missed it. It is a solid braid, eight strand. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> i i just call, I, I mean i i don't know i saw the picture but i saw the pound of weight and i went back and looked at to see the 12 strand yeah hi carol mm. Edgar, what's up, Mike? What up, guys? How you doing, Carol? Edgar? Oh, God. oh, man! And look, and my chair is like right where where it's at, like right on the edge. I lean back or lean into it. It's just like, <laughs> and it's like an itch. I can't scratch it. Like I want to scratch it so bad, but I know I'll just rip the 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 stitchings out. It won't be cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. Are you done crying about it now? No? Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Got a little dizzy there. <laughs> <laughs> Too much air in that space. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. Today, Friday's fire drawing, guys, is at four hundred and five dollars to start already. Um, yeah, what ended up happening? Did you get it, or are you just talking about the, the pictures, Carol? <laughs> I just mailed that today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, all right, guys. So the uh, the deal, if y'all are just coming in, uh, the five hundred dollars that was raised for gas, we ended up only using um, a small portion of it. So, with the remaining balance, Overland America told us to donate it back to the shop and however we see fit or would help us. So what I went ahead and did was I donated it back to the fire drawing. So that way it started off with a large amount because it was all y'all's donations that made it possible. So I, I figured it would be the best way to give back to y'all for y'all helping out on this deal. And since we didn't use it all, it, it would give a great way to do it. What was also set up was um, a few of the subscribers for life and Roger had some great suggestions of adding in, you know, uh, Overland America, uh, the guys, you know, get them involved in the drawing. So we donated one of, uh, one ticket per person to each of those, uh, three guys that showed up, the owner, his wife and his worker. Um, and then with the remaining balance of tickets, we donated it in to the guys that actually, uh, helped us raise the money, the five hundred dollars to um, make the draw or make the gas fund possible. So each one of those guys got a ticket, and then we had four available after that, which we also again it was another uh, suggestion by our subscribers to uh, the remaining tickets be doubled up to whoever purchased in on the drawing. So the first those four tickets remaining on that balance. So. Roger, Daniel Woodard, Jaime, and Real Living were the first four people to buy into the drawing. So not only did they get one ticket, they got two. So that takes care of the fund that was remaining balance left over. And with them buying in, those four tickets took it from $325 to $405. So that's what our fire drawing is starting at on Friday. If you want to purchase tickets between now and then, by all means, you sure can. We ain't not saying no. I will not show the tickets until Friday when I go to the live video. 
Um, but if you do make purchases between now and then, be either here on the live video feed or through the cash app, uh, what I'm doing is I'm writing down names and I'm getting down a list of everybody who's in the fire drawing for that on Friday. And that's when I'll, I'll do all the tickets. So just a heads up on that. I don't know what I just did to the channel, but let's see. What's up, right? There's Okay. What's up, Homer? How you doing? And I think Henry was in there. Did it was that, did I see that right before I refreshed it? Yeah, Homer. Well, Henry's been in here, but Homer just oh, came okay. in. Okay, well I missed that. But Henry, what's up, boss? How you doing? Hey, Ray, how you doing? So, um, on that braid, guys, if y'all, y'all got to remember when you order the braid, 12 strand braid is not spliceable. It's a solid braid. You cannot splice it. Well, actually you can, but it, it, I do not recommend it because it'll be extremely hard to get that needle to go through and to make it work properly like a 12 strand will do. The 12 strand is the one at minimum that you need to be able to do a splice with the hollow core braid. No, they they ordered eight and we're trying to splice eight. I said they have to buy the 12 strand in order to be able to splice it. So like you said, don't try to Yeah, no. Okay, just making sure 12 strand is spliceable. <laughs> He's saying that I said something else. I was like, maybe I did, but I'm just giving it there. So, uh, yeah. Check. All right. Uh, gonna pull up the trailer to do some work. Cool deal. Yep. I would say I'd want to help out today too, but I am not feeling it. Uh, my son has a game today, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that because I said I'm up out there. They have metal benches and stuff like that, so I'll be. Like here, I can at least lean back into it, and that would really be annoying. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there you go. Oh, yeah, guys. One of our videos on TikTok is blowing up. And I say blowing up for me because it's way over anything that I've ever done on TikTok. Most of most of my TikTok videos get a thousand, two thousand views, and then that's it. Well, one of them is. Uh, on, let me find my other phone. On over here, there it is. I have to get my good phone because my other screen is really scratched up, so you wouldn't be able to see much. Do, do. It's at 27,400 views. Yes, sir. That is on TikTok. It's the one of the triple hookup that we had at Causeway Pier. So, yep, that video there on TikTok, guys. 430 likes on it, which is awesome. There's only 77 comments, but if y'all would like to help me blow that video up, if y'all have TikTok, check out that video. It's the triple hookup. 27,400 views. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also been putting a little bit of time into that one, going back through, answering everybody's comments on that video, too. So, yeah. Jacob looks like he's about to eat, or does he have his computer on? I don't smell it yet. I don't smell it yet. <laughs> okay, y'all remember the the pen that Anita made for me and stuff? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I sent her my uh, my swivel knife. Okay, I'm a, hopefully this will come in. Ah, so we're we're waiting on picture time. Ooh, wow. Wow. Very nice. That looks sweet. Great job, Anita. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep, yep. So. Oh, oh, man. Yes. Anita, yes. Very cool. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> L I don't think like is even in the category of where he's at. <laughs> no. mm -mm. That is, mm. All I have to say, we're just glad it's a, a, a family-based channel because he probably... <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, you know. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Omer? How you doing? Um, yeah, no, uh, Omer, I was just talking about um, one of my videos on TikTok is, for me, it's going viral. I've, uh, most of my TikTok videos, 1,000 views, 2,000 views, 3,000 views, cool. This one is at 27,400, so it's going very viral for us on here. And it's on the Team Hard Life TikTok there. So it would be cool if everybody went in there and gave it a you know a heart or whatever if you were seeing it. But comment on it because it will obviously help it keep growing. And I'll be keep commenting on it too, so maybe we can get a few of my videos to start doing that. Um, obviously, the, the fight videos are on there too. Of uh, me doing the dock demon with the redfish and the black drum. Um, I did them in separate little videos because those they're starting to allow you to um, post their videos longer than a minute. So I went ahead and jumped on it since I was already kind of creating the videos for the YouTube channel, but doing smaller specific fight videos on the uh, on the TikTok there. So yeah, didn't they like jump it up to like almost ten minutes or something? Some uh, I know it said over three minutes is what it said, so I was like, "Cool." So, wow. Yes, uh, the fire drawing is at four hundred and five dollars. It's got that five dollars because it was actually three twenty-five um, after we put in everybody's name and everything like that, and then we had four people buy into the extra four tickets. So because of that, start up. And yes, it is going to be done on Friday, but between now and then, if y'all want to buy tickets, by all means, I will put y'all's names down, and then y'all will be the first ones that I put on the tickets when I start on Friday. So, man, I, I'm really thinking that one can go over a thousand, too. That, that'll be real sweet. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Still staring at the photo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not going to lie. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, um, I got to give a little shout out to Roger and Bessie. Because they sent me a, a cup, brought me a glass. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> and, it's, and it's got one of my sharks in there. Not my biggest, but it's still a pretty cool catch either way, but very awesome on that. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you, Roger and Bessie, for that. Sweet. Yeah. I looked real quick, and it almost looked like I had vampire. Like, if you look real quick. Mm -hmm. Right? It looks like I have vampire teeth. Y'all see my vampire teeth? You gotta look real quick. It just it's real quick. Right? It looks like I got fangs down. 
Oh, you didn't see it? Try it again. I think it's my oh, beard. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're blind. <laughs> you're blind. <laughs> so I haven't gotten to use that one yet, but I'm waiting for special little occasion maybe when i can drop in some bourbon or some crown into my coffee coffee <laughs> uh oh somebody's missing their bottle oh man oh no <laughs> i dropped a piece of leather and i don't want to get it <laughs> no what Said I dropped a piece of leather and I don't want to get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. And we, we got actually um I did an unboxing, but uh I recorded it because I really like I said I yesterday I really wasn't feeling well today. It's kind of, I don't know if today is worse than yesterday. Yeah. Because um it was done on Monday. But during the day, I was fine because I, it was all numbed out. But by the time I got home and started laying down to go to sleep, the pain medication <laughs> wore off on my back. So, it, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I didn't get much sleep that night. Last night was, wasn't too much better, but I got a little bit more sleep. But it's just, it's really annoying me today. It feels like I got an ice pick in my lung on the right side on the back. Yeah. So, I did get in a ton of sleeves. I want to say I got in 50,000 sleeves the other day. Yeah. Good guy. And actually, I'll work on that. That video will come out here in a bit. It's not a real long video, but it's there. Um, what I wanted to do was do a video of me building tackle and just have it kind of here. But I need to get me a nice little workbench area where I can hang my my recording device over me so I can see what I'm doing and stuff like that, which would be really nice, but I got, I, I got to get me a little work area or set up my desk in the back and work back there kind of deal. So yeah, cause there's a lot of tackle I build throughout the day. I don't know if y'all see behind me, but all the stuff that I've crimped in the last couple of days. Yeah, that's a ton of gear. Let me see, give me a second, I'll show y'all. That's all you got done? <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> all right, so here we go. I'm having to get up close so I can get an idea of this. That's well, one. Yeah. It's, if you were not a bit slacking off, you would have had more than that. Oh, that's only one pin. Then we got this one. Wait. That's one. <laughs> There's two. Three. Four. Uh-huh. And then we got this one here. One. Two. Three, four, five, <coughs> six. Uh, uh, there's seven. There's seven and a half. <laughs> and then there's eight right there. So let me put these back here so they don't get mixed up. And then we got this 100 pound right here. That's one. There's two. These are doubled up because there's three ways. Those are all 100 pound. Another mini 100 pound right there. Another full 100 pounder right there. Honey, can I borrow your glasses? And I'm doing all the work he did. And I can't really see it. It doesn't look like a lot. <laughs> and then <laughs> there's another pin right here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Can I have the chartreuse? Uh, chartreuse. chartreuse. <laughs> well, there's a couple of them. All right, so Jeff is taking some of the work off of there, finally, because he's been working on a lot himself, too. Put it this way, guys. Look, I'm just getting the grip of the mono. All of that is crimp. But double check. Okay. There's another small batch. Flat. Yep. Well, some of those, like I said, if they were flat like that, it's because they were done before me. But, and then all of these pins right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been pretty busy, guys. And then code a cable right here. And then the other side right there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Needless to say, there's, <laughs> I don't know. Several I don't see about 80. Huh? What? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's about 80 of them right there <laughs> see that's what you really did that's all you did right there yeah yeah tell the truth now. yeah that's that that's <laughs> about 80 of them right there uh yeah so now our trout these are all our trout flounder and single drop leader setups and yeah we've got <laughs> that's a ton of them so so needless to say, guys, I've been pretty busy back here, even though I've been feeling like crap. Uh, and that's, oh, yeah, and that's not including the tray of wire that I bent, too. And they, they took that to the back this morning and stuff like that, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get in touch with my friend from work. Homer, I have not gotten with, uh, with your friend just yet. Like I said, I was taking care of one family at a time. I was expected to get with her a couple weeks ago because I was thinking that family was going to come in that Friday. They didn't make it in until this past week. And then for my surgery and all of that, I've been kind of not really in the mood to be able to go out and go shopping. But I will get with her because she is next on the list. So, yeah, I'm excited. Excited. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it's a lot of sleeves we actually we were out of 1.0 double mini sleeves uh up until yesterday right no monday monday yes it was monday so. mm. All right, so, oh, man, I'm, I'm ready for Friday, guys, already. Like, I'm ready for it to be here just because uh, I know our fire drawing is going to go nuts on that day. I'm excited, really excited. <laughs> I got to keep him on his toes, Carol. Uh, yep. <laughs> Good deal. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you really feel that way, Homer. Because, like I said, that that was the main thing we were trying to do is really reach out to families that could really use a helping hand up. Um, and as you saw with the last family, you know, she came in after the video, and you know, was really thinking we were only going to get like one or two gifts, and then they, they got rained on with all the gifts and love from from all the uh, support that we got from the channel to be able to do that with them. Um, so <laughs> that was. That was pretty awesome. That was really awesome. So, and it was cool the way it, it didn't matter whose gift it was. Um, they were like, "Oh, this one's here," and this one, they were so willing to help each other out that that those were some priceless memories, most definitely for sure. So, yeah, yep. See. All right, Henry, you have a good one, boss. I guess I missed where they said he was leaving. So, 
So, uh, but I've got about maybe 20 more wires to go, and then I'm gonna call it quits today, guys. Um, I hate I hate starting a project and then leaving halfway through it, but I won't be able to crimp this today. I'm I'm kind of spent a little bit. You uh, you need a walker. Actually, I need somebody to carry me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that one. <laughs> Take it easy, Anita. Yep, later, Anita. And great work on those projects. That's some. That's some really fine work you did there. So I can't wait for it now. Man. Watch yourself, Edgar. <laughs> I'm I'm getting back in the shave and I guarantee you won't be able to keep up with me once I get going. <laughs> Tell him, man. True that. Yep, for life. You right on that. All right. Um, I think I paid it was fifty two dollars in tax and plus shipping or whatever it was. How much? Fifty two dollars. Cool. It's a, Boston, it's a Boston Scally. <laughs> and how, uh, where'd you get that other uh, pin from? That, I noticed that was pretty. Is that, that an Irishman? Yeah, actually, a guy, in, uh, a guy in a group that I'm in, or a couple groups, he's in, in there too, but he uh, he makes them. Oh, nice. Okay, how much were you making? Let's see. See, and, and you know, that's the deal that I'm, I'm ready for. Is because when guys try to keep up, it just pushes me to push harder. So that way, once I'm not there or whatever, they're able to just, you know, really, really take it to that next level and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely cool. Yeah, definitely cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I end up hooking up Jeff with that with my ice ray tickets that I got from the uh from the beach cleanup. Uh, also, too, I had one of those extra uh, uh, the the koozie cups or not koozie cups. The these uh, uh, the tumblers the, uh, that Yeti had donated for the for the. And I'm telling you, I'm already going brain dead. It's already at the end of the day. Uh, and for the volunteers of the beach cleanup. So I had an extra one. I hooked Jeff up with that. And also he got the uh, ice race tickets yes. that were given to me. So I gave them to him. So. No problem. Thank you. No. Nice. All right. Give me give me a second. Let me, I'll get, show you those vids. Yeah, Jaime has been driving through can, some can crazy, crazy weather. Yeah. On all the Yetis, did they give to y'all in that cup or that color? Yes. Why? Nobody wants to prefer anyone to the crash. <laughs> he was praying. He's still complaining. I, I said bye. Oh. I said bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Chris, go. Oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, finally coming in good weather. Give me a second, guys. I got two, four, six, eight. Two. Well, I'm down to ten. I thought I only had ten, but putting on the double long 1.0 double mini sleeves right there, guys. So, what color is the cup? Do you have it here? Do you have it here? Yeah. Jeff will show it to you in just a second. Oh. 
There you go. Well, he's going to grab it and show you the color. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's over there, Jacob. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh my God, this is great. What's so funny? <laughs> oh my God, it's right. <laughs> yep. Oh you find it? I think he has written on the sound right. Yeah. I've seen that part. Yeah. You're a dork. <laughs> what happened? She's watched something that was funny and she's just losing her shit. Apparently, it's really funny. Honey, I think it's time we take her away. I think we need to trade her in on, on, on a newer model. <laughs> that might work. <laughs> this one's broken. <laughs> Five more guys, and I'll be done. Done over here. Thing. You better not. That, that would be cool if they did that. So definitely, if if, if they're going to do that, we're definitely going to show up early enough to make sure we get in on those. Um, we did notice by showing up to the beach cleanup, even even at eight o'clock, we were still showing up at seven something. That they'd already been going on for over an hour before we even got there. So, but at least now we know how it kind of works, and we can kind of plan it out to make sure we can help out the best way we can. So, yeah. Um, but I tell you what, I was so sore from bending over that many times to pick up trash. Um, I think today is the first day that I don't feel as bad. Uh, yeah, it, it was. <laughs> It was a lot of work, guys. I'm definitely going to take a uh, one of those hand claws or hand grabbers, whatever you want to call them, for the next year's cleanup for sure. So They didn't have them this year? <laughs> nope. Really? Well, crap. Because the, the years that I did it, they, they, had a, they handed out a bunch of them. By the time we got there, well, like I said, by the time we got there, that was we were set up at the twenty. So just imagine how many. I don't know what they what kind of gear they started with, but what they gave us was a box of bags, um, a bucket with gloves, some crackers in it, a uh, case of waters, and that was pretty much it. Oh, okay. And yeah, then obviously the, the 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 Yeti tumblers with it and stuff like that too. So. Oh wow! Oh, they, and they were actually they were Yetis. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm done. El Jefe complaining? Probably because of the color. Yep. Yep. He basically saying he wouldn't have bought it. So there's my my order done for right now. 
I mean, you can see the, the swivels that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the way all of the uh, deals are set up. So. There's about are 50 of them on there. Not crimped yet. I just, I put it all together. Before, and once I go to crimping, all I do is crimp, 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 crimp. I don't like put together, stop, pick up the tool, crimp, then put it on there. I just one step, go to the next step, go to the next step. And that's how I'm able to produce a lot of tackle. And that way you're dealing with one item at a time, putting it in your hand, crimping it, moving it off. And so, yeah. Yeah. But all right, guys, I'm done for today. I'm going to go and try and make it to my son's game. But like I said, this, this pain in my back is really, really annoying. It feels like I got an ice pick and they're just going like this every time I move or anything like that. So I think I've had it done. It's done. But again, guys, uh, Friday's fire drawing will start off at $405 already. So it, it's probably going to shoot over 1000 So y'all be ready for this and it's going to be nice. Real nice. So we'll be looking forward to it and we'll check y'all later. Y'all have a good one, guys. We will definitely keep it rolling. And Roger, no worries, boss. Um, yeah, real living got two tickets in there. Roger's got actually three tickets in there. Um, yeah. And real living actually, let's see. Yeah, you got the two because you bought the, the one with the with the extra ticket with the four. But um, the guys that got actually already three in there are Roger because he he, he bought uh, or he helped the, the funds for the gas fund. So everybody that helped with that, I gave them one ticket already. So we got uh, Zach, Zach's wife, Colton, Roger, Jaime, Edgar, Overland America because Jacob donated that ticket. Cameron Sullivan, Toby, John Darnell, Carl Moon, Robert for Life, Angel Lopez, Daniel Woodard, Jaime Sanchez, and Real Living on the, the deal for this. Remember, guys, be sure to go subscribe to Jacked Up Leather. Where are you at on your subscriptions, boss? Have you gotten to 300 yet? I'm at. Not, not good. Not good. Not good. So. Um, all right, guys, we are going to be rocking and rolling it. And <laughs> that coughing's kicking his butt. <laughs> or maybe she's catching it. <laughs> Probably. There you go. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. I'm out. Oh. All right. Take it easy, man. Later, guys. Oh.